right, guys. Uh, today I'm gonna show you a quick um, tutorial or guide to the um, Instagram post template that I created, and it's really easy to do. I'm trying to make it as easy as possible because I don't really know Photoshop that much. Um, so uh, I try to make it easy as possible in my knowledge. So on, so this is some photo that I created for you with my own image. Um, so it looks like give you like a quick preview what's going to be look like um, you can just leave the photo in on here is totally fine you can just add your own photo on top of here uh, so let's get right into it to see how to use this template so after when you download the Photoshop file which you do require a Photoshop to open it and use this so when you double click and open it or open however you want to open it uh, you'll get this image here this is the file you download so I label, um, there's a 10 boxes, each box represent the Instagram post, 10 is the maximum you can post on Instagram right now. Uh, so let's get into the first one here. So we scroll down to, I label everything on the right side on the layering box. So post one, you're going to click on that. You're not going to delete or replace anything. Um, what you can do is this is the photo today I'm working with, the carousel that I'm going to make. So first photo is also going to be the thumbnail. So I already chose mine already. I'm going to use this as a thumbnail. Really easy. Click the first post right there and just drag on top. Right now it says in the middle, just hold it and drag it to your cover. So what we're going to do here, you see how it's a bit too small. You don't want to just drag on the end here. It will actually um, stretching it. So what you can do is a whole option T for Mac. Make it a little bit bigger, increase the scale up till it fills up the image here. That's perfect. And then really easy. Next box. This is post two background, BG's background. So that's the post in the background, I'm not just a blank page. You don't need to just like I say, you don't need to delete anything. Just leave it. Uh, so I'm going to see it anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this photo here. Just drag on top. I just need to move it over. If you can see what you're doing, um, you see the top box three, two, one. You can just hide it. So make sure you kind of cover know what you're doing. So click on that image, option T. So you see this box and hold option T and scale up. Make sure you don't cross the line. So drag it up there, or sometimes you can, if you need to, just scale it down a little bit. Just to make it fit, you know, there you go. Uh, it's not be too important on this background because it is a background image. So right now I'm going to pop the, all the boxes back. Really easy. You want to do the top box first, select the box. I'm going to choose the wheel shot that I have here. Kind of capture the detail, drag and drop to the box. When it shows up, you can adjust the height, how is it? Make sure, just make sure it fills in the box right there. Uh, perfect right there. And then done second box choose the image I don't have too much of a detail shot but I'm just gonna include some for this tutorial uh, just make sure it's in the box you see how it's not in the box just make sure it's in the box you can do up and down and just right above the wheel right there yep there you go done and we move on to third box you just click on third box find your image here I'm gonna do Hmm. I'm just gonna do the same thing over here. Just drag and drop. Boom. Move it out a little bit. There we go. Done. Second pose done. So move on to third pose. So same thing. Post three G is the background. So what this this style is just the small image in the front and then enlarged image as used as a background. So it'll be same image. Um in this case I'm gonna use the light one over here. We're gonna do the background first. So just click on background, drag the image on top. Make sure it's not covering other poses. That looks good to me. And then select the next post. Maybe a small box. Drag the same one on top. Boom, done. Next one. Let's go down here. So the same thing. Uh, sometimes I post a little bit multiple. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose this one. So we're gonna select the background, drag it, drop. Perfect. Select the small box, drag and drop. 
done easy and then this I'm gonna skip because I don't have an image that's too horizontal image for this type um, you can just leave it uh, but I do have a image for this one here so we're gonna use the only horizontal um, photo I have right here so I'm gonna select the uh, box number six and seven we're gonna skip a uh, box uh, five so you're gonna just drag it drop and you're done so after you just double check make sure everything is, is like how you like it make sure no, nothing is like cross over from each other and if it looks good looks like you're ready to um, export so when you do export you want to export your regular uh, like quick as PNG or Express you want to do save for web or legacy and that's how you get the slice up if not there will be one gigantic image uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a folder so easier for us to airdrop in I already did it earlier so I'm just delete that move to trash move to trash I need to do that huh? anyways so we're gonna go file export export at save for web make sure you have the JPEG as maximum settings uh, ma maximum quality when you're ready hit save and then select the image I mean uh, the folder you want to save to and press save should be really quick if not wait a little bit after that this is all the image here uh, we didn't use the last three box so we can delete that and also we don't have the Lambo one delete that so this is the photo that we got that we're gonna post on Instagram so that's it, really easy. Hopefully this helps you out. Um, I, if you have any questions, uh, message me or DM me in Instagram and I'll glad to help you guys out. Uh, try it out, see if you guys like it, you know, better than standard single image post, kind of upgrade up a little bit for you. But yeah, you, hopefully this helps you out and have a good one.